Hi guys, I am Shahzad from Shakzi.com and welcome in Canine series. You're gonna learn Canine notes in this series. We'll discuss about the different models. How can you evaluate the models? How can you validate the data? How can you apply the JavaScript? And how can you add the math formula? And we will discuss about some uh, basics and also the advanced things in the K9. So this series is sponsored by Digital Sort. Digital Sort is a platform and they are providing a lot of services. A lot of services, UI, UX, web development, digital marketing, and they are providing the graphic designing or the branding, e-commerce, SEO optimizations, and some other services like video editing, content writing, domain hosting, and also the WordPress maintenance. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have the this project and I have the model and I am applying the linear regression here. So you can see if I click on the stats, it's giving me the R square 0.961 and also it's giving me the mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error and mean sign difference and mean absolute percentage something like that okay now so as you can see here i'm applying the linear regressions okay now i'm going to create the project so it's a canine i'm saying my reg finish okay now if you have the data in the csv format just find the csv so as you can see this is a csv reader right click configuration and select your csv file i have the some data sets china okay now you have to set something here i'm saying okay fine execute this one and now as you can see it's showing you the green that means everything is working fine so this is the console okay i'm console if you have some errors or some mistakes or some mining it will show you here okay now right click file table so as you can see these are the variables available in this data set and all the data available and all the data is the continuous data so as you can see in the integer format or in the okay now how can you add the regression model so i'm saying linear regressions make sure it's a linear regression learner okay now just break and drop this node that means connect this CSV reader to linear regression learner. Right click, configurations, you have to configure. So this is a target variable or the class variables. I'm saying ID is not. And I also I'm saying an effort. So these are the variables I am going to select or I am selecting. So missing values in input data. So as you can see you have to set some settings. You have, you have some settings here, ignore rows with missing values. If you want to ignore the rows which has a missing value, just click on this one. First row is one row count. So as you can see, it's 20K. So, okay, now I'm saying apply. Okay, execute this one. Or I'm saying just show me the result. So it's showing me the results for this data set. Okay, if I'm saying just show me the plot or scatter plot so as you can see it's showing me the image okay now right click configuration so as you can see i'm saying this is a target variable but before doing this if you want to evaluate this model you have to use the another node which is the partitioning node so as you can see So this is the partitioning and now I'm saying okay now as here as you can see this is the learner right click configure I'm saying uh, percentage and now I'm saying 80 okay apply this one you can also check the linear sampling and also the draw randomly i'm saying draw randomly apply okay so execute this one so as you can see if you hover over this one it 
it's showing you the 399 rows and 19 columns if you hover this one so as you can see it's saying 100 rows okay now you are training your data here and what you need you just need to use the linear so this is the linear predictor now drag and drop like this and you have to use this one fine you can also separate execute node like this or you can execute the last one node so it will all if you execute this one it's automatically execute your previous node so now you have the model like this now what you need you just need the numeric score so it's a node so it's a numeric score just connect with your node right click configuration now select your reference column i'm saying this is the effort value and the prediction column is the prediction effort okay now apply okay and execute this bad boy now right click and click on the statics so as you can see it's saying r square 0 0.15 so that means r square 0 0.15 that means this model is not sufficient so as you can see r square 0 0.15 so this is your absolute error mean absolute error and definitely you have mean squared error okay now so this is the model you have just uh, designed i have already designed a model so as you can see this is the linear uh, this is the data I have in the CSV format so this is the data okay now we are I'm applying the JavaScript and this is a linear regression I have the I'm using the same settings so as you can see relative randomly and this is the regressions model so as you can see now if I click on this one and uh, showing the statics so as you can see it's saying r square 0 0.961 that means this model is sufficient this is the good model because the value is near to the one so i hope you are enjoying this series and uh, i'm going to also upload the other tutorials or the other videos related to this series so thank you for watching